So welcome to the Toric GP over refraction video, hopefully demystifying some of the uh, confusion people will have with Toric lenses. So a Toric over refraction is needed to be done over all Toric lenses. Now this can be cornea scleros or corneal lenses and generally these have been fitted when there's been a, a difference in keratometry readings between the readings of 0.35 or more. Because we've got a toric cornea, we've fitted a toric lens, so the over-refraction that we need to do needs to also be a toric over-refraction. So before we do the over-refraction, we need to check a few things with the fit, of the, the fit of the contact lens. First thing we need to do is we need to note the axis marks of the contact lens. This is shown by dashes on the flat axis of the contact lens. The lens needs to be rotationally stable, so it shouldn't be spinning round and round and round. And the axis marks need to generally be in alignment with the, the flat keratometry reading, give or take about 10 or 20 degrees. If the lens spins round and round, then we're going to have to adjust the fit to improve the stability of the lens, otherwise the incorporation is going to be variable. So in this case we can see that we've got, uh, the axis marks are aligned at 170 degrees. If the marks are unstable or they're oblique, then you need to alter the fitting, the BOZR, to try and improve the fit. So once we've got a suitable fit, we're then going to do the over refraction. The key with this is to align the minus sill of your cross sill or when your trial lens with the flat axis marks of the contact lens, as is shown here. So if we have an example, we've got an 8x74, this is a cornea scleral toric, minus 4 in the flat, minus 7 in the steep. The lens fit is good, it aligns as we expect. And the over-refraction we get is plus 050, minus 1 axis, 170. So the first thing to do is to incorporate the sphere. Now the spherical power affects both meridians. So the minus 4 is going to become a minus 350. The minus 7 of the steep is going to become a minus 650. We then need to go on and incorporate the sill correction. So the minus 1 axis, 170. Now that's axis, the power of the sill is perpendicular to the axis, if you remember your visual optics. So the power is going along 80, so it's going along the steep. So we're going to incorporate that into the steep meridian. So the final parameter we get is an 8 by 76 cornea scleral toric minus 350 in the flat, minus 750 in the steep. If we've got a situation where the over refraction is oblique, uh, then we have to either alter the, the fitting of the lens, the BOZR, to try and improve the, the fit to get them to align better or we need to provide this in over spectacles. It cannot be incorporated into the, the lens power. Another option if you had a relatively low amount of corneal tericity is to try and fit a spherical lens. And the best way to do this is to use a trial set for whichever lens design you have and see how, the, how stable the vision is, how good the fit is tolerated uh, to see if this can improve things. All our toric lenses go out with a toric adjustment form. This can simply be filled in with the over refraction and with the axis marks, and the lab can then calculate the lens power that you're going to need to provide your patient with the optimum vision. Thanks for watching the Toric over refraction video.